Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy and this is Oatmeal. So for today, I'm gonna to be doing a what I eat in a day. For breakfast, I had a smoothie bowl. It was just some berries, banana, ton of spinach, protein powder, because I am training for a marathon. So I just really wanna make sure I'm getting enough protein to fuel my fitness, to also bulk up the meal a bit more. And one of the big things that I'm focusing on right now is getting in more vitamins and nutrients. And I've been listening to the Proof podcast by Simon Hill, and he suggests vitamin enriched plant milks. I had almond milk and it was fortified with calcium, iron, and vitamin D. So that was great. So that was in the actual smoothie bowl. And then I topped it with some flax seeds, berries, and a little bit of puffed kumit. That's what I had in my smoothie bowl. And it was so, 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 so yummy because this morning I actually ran nine miles. So I needed to eat a sufficient amount of food and I can pack a lot into a smoothie bowl. That's what I had for breakfast. But before I left, because I did run nine miles, I had maybe half a cup of oatmeal because I make oatmeal in the morning. You usually to eat for breakfast but this morning when I came home from the gym I didn't want it so I just had some of that and then Jacob ate the rest. I've been getting in my nutrients today. I don't know if you follow or if you have seen Rose from The Plant Life Chose Us on Instagram but she's a vegan fitness trainer. She was having like a really good sale on her program like her one-on-one -on -one coaching. You know I'm trying to get into the best shape of my life and I think I am in amazing shape right now but I think I could always you know get a little better Better, get a little stronger get a little bit more knowledge so I hired her starting next Monday I am working with a personal trainer my diet might change ever so slightly just to focus a little bit more on like protein and more nutrient dense foods I'd say not that I haven't been eating nutrient dense foods but a little bit more tailored to the amount of fitness that I'm putting out I'm excited about that feeling super strong really really loving my workout training which is essentially just running and then a little bit of strength training feeling good my skin at the moment i do have makeup on it's a little broken out on my chin i think i'm close to that time of the month and also over the holidays i did eat a lot of sugary foods a little bit more processed than i normally would and i think it's reflecting on my chin but that's okay you know we learn from it we grow from it and we move on it's part of life Welcome back to my channel. Feeling very chatty today. I hope you guys are doing well. I need to get back to work and I'll show you what I have for lunch. For lunch today, because I have a ton of leftover sushi rice, I'm gonna make air fried sushi balls. A vegan, of course. So I saw this on somebody's page and then I also saw it on Pinterest and I thought it was such a good idea and I have all the ingredients, but I'm just gonna take some sushi rice, mix it with hummus and chickpeas, and then shred up a bunch of seaweed, like nori sheets, blend them in a food processor and put them in the air fryer. So they're gonna make little balls and I'm gonna have that with some veggies and a little edamame. It's gonna be so good. So let me show you how I make them. Okay, so I have my sushi rice in here and it's a decent amount. I I'd say that's like maybe a cup. So I'm gonna just put it in here. Pop it here. Pop it here. So then I'm gonna take my homemade hummus. It's in a pickle jar, not pickles. So I'm just gonna do maybe like a tablespoon of hummus. And then I'm gonna take some chickpeas that I made yesterday in the crock pot. Utilize your crock pot because if you have dry beans, just make a set of whatever kind of beans you want in the morning and you'll have beans in the evening. I'm gonna do like eyeball f maybe a fourth a cup. This really gives it that sushi flavor. Nori sheets. So I'm gonna take one nori sheet and plop it in. And then to really get all the flavors of sushi in there, we're gonna add a little bit of coconut amino. It might need more. And then a teaspoon of soy sauce. And there's actually rice wine vinegar already in the rice because I made sushi bowl salad with it. But if you just have plain rice, you can use like a teaspoon or so of rice vinegar. So we're gonna blend it up. Grab my 
spoon. And the reason why you want to use chickpeas and why I use hummus because it helps everything bind together better. Um, so you can actually form balls. So I think this is the right texture. So it formed a nice little ball. But I'm going to just form seven or eight of these balls and pop them in the air fryer for like 12 minutes at 350 until it's crispy on the outside. sitting down to lunch right now but these little balls i can't get enough of them so i have all of these i think there's like there's 10 that made 10 little balls and then for like my non-starchy component i have diced up carrot cucumber some steamed broccoli and then nori sheets for like a dipping sauce if it needs it i just put a little bit of coconut aminos in a dish so so good but i'm gonna eat my delicious lunch this will fill me so much we'll see how many of the rice balls i eat oh i forgot i also had some edamame at the bottom there super whole food plant-based and it is gonna be so delicious Okay, just finished lunch 20 minutes ago and I ate all of it minus one little ball. I'm like a comfortable full. Tonight I'm gonna make the sweet potato pudding or a sweet potato pudding and I want to save room for that because I'm also gonna make, I think, crispy taquitos in the air fryer. That was like on my meal plan of what I want to eat for this week. I think I'm gonna save that but I'm feeling really really good. These little rice balls are addicting. I could probably eat those every single day. I love them. I've been so into manifesting and journaling lately so this morning I journaled. It's just amazing. I love it. So I'm doing the Gabby Bernstein 21 day manifestation challenge that she does at the beginning of every year and so far I've been like very into it. My mom and I are doing it together. My mom's going through a lot right Right now so she really wanted to do it so i was like oh yeah girl we're gonna do it together journaling in the morning and manifesting and just like finding gratitude in every day and i have to say my mood is like through the roof right now it really sets you up for like a good headspace throughout the day being said it's only 2 30 right now so i still got like a lot of work i need to do with my actual job so i gotta do that but lunch highly recommend if you try it let me know it is so good if you add anything to it let me know i think avocado would be really nice with it feeling good just in a good mood lately just about six o'clock and i'm sorry the lighting is not the best we're gonna roll with it but it's gonna be these taquitos and essentially it's just going to be some beans that i'm gonna like pulse in the food processor and then i'm gonna add in some vegan cheese sauce and i'm gonna roll them up in corn tortillas and put them in the air fryer so i have some cheese sauce that i made from last week that i need using up so i'm gonna do that with some beans what else can i put in there and then i'm gonna add corn some corn that'd be really good as well with a side of veggies <laughs> it's gonna be good. That was a fail. <laughs> Corn tortillas, I don't think is the right move when trying to make taquitos. Like I think traditionally they're corn tortillas, but my corn tortillas, they're just not pliable. Let me show you what happened in the air fryer. I would not call that a taquito. Kind of unraveled. And this is like another one that I was making. They're just too dry. I think I just had the wrong brand of tortilla because they were in the freezer section. I want to try again, but take one was not a success. I'm sure it'll taste good, but like the look of a taquito is just not there. I'm officially done making it and it actually turned out really really pretty I always think if you put something in a bowl with a ton of colorful veggies it's always gonna look good so I just have my cabbage here I just did some sa sauteed cabbage with garlic and salt and then some fresh tomatoes fresh mini bell peppers a little salad mix and then 
more cheese sauce for dipping and salsa. I'll probably eat a few of these. I just wanted to take a photo. This is my little bowl, my little Mexican bowl. It actually turned out really, really nice. So I'm gonna enjoy this. This looks really good, really wholesome. And then I'm gonna make a sweet potato pudding here after I eat this. So really excited about that. Just finished dinner like 30 minutes ago and I have to say, it was very good. If I can figure out how to properly wrap them, it'll be a winner, even though it tasted just as good. We'll be making again, even though it wasn't exactly beautiful. Taste was 10 out of 10. And now it's about eight o'clock. Am I hungry? No, but I wanna make this sweet potato chocolate pudding that I've been seeing all over the internet. And I have two sweet potatoes. One's an orange sweet potato, and then one is the purple sweet potato. And normally I would think the purple sweet potato wouldn't work, but I like tasted it and it is really, really, really sweet and really squishy because I roasted them for like an hour at three, at 400. So they're quite roasted and soft. So I'm gonna make the sweet potato pudding. It's all gonna be whole food plant-based and we'll see how it tastes. <laughs> Pudding, incredible. It is so good. The exact measurements I used was like a fourth a cup of soy milk, two medium sweet potatoes, and then three tablespoons of cocoa powder, and then a little cap full of vanilla. <gasps> mm, oh my god. This is like my new addiction. This is not good. I should not have been introduced to this, but this is so good. There's not even any sweetener in here. Not even stevia. Like it is so sweet. Oh my gosh, I highly recommend you trying this. I'm gonna put it on my website, but it's really, really simple. Uh, nothing too fancy about it. Um, this would be so good with like strawberries, like dipping strawberries in it over some oatmeal, just like plain for breakfast. It's so versatile. This is so good. Like I can't believe how sweet it is actually. The key, I must say, is roasting your sweet potatoes in the oven, not in the air fryer, not in the microwave, roasting the sweet potatoes. Oh, but this is so good. So I was just taking photos of my delicious chocolate pudding. Oh my gosh, it is so dangerous that I know how to make this now. And to make it a little extra special, I put some sprinkles on it. Just some of these vegan sprinkles on it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm not actually hungry. I'm just eating it because it's delicious. But this is where I leave you guys. I am... 100% done with eating today. I feel like I had a good amount of food, but I also ran nine miles, so. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give me a like, subscribe if you're new here. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna try to include all of the recipes from today on my website, so I'll leave links for them and you can go there and check them out. But they're all whole food, plant-based, oil-free, delicious and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one bye